hi guys you're welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to extract xyz data from google earth pro and uh, first of all you need a steady area the area you need the data for and then you you go to the search bar you search the name the area the automatically the search will take you to the location of the name you provided to search then after you get the name you zoom to the the, the, the particular study or the particular area you need this data from so for instance a study area is the Densu Delta Ramsar site I want XYZ data from this site for other analysis to do the extraction, first of all, you need two uh, softwares or uh, applications. You need the Google Earth Pro, and you also need another uh, so, uh, software called the Global Mapper. So I have the Global Mapper here. In case you don't know what is Global Mapper, it is yeah, it's a software. You can use it for many things, but one of the things you want to use it for this tutorial is how to extract or how it will help us extract this XYZ from our study area. Okay. As I said earlier on, this is my study area I want to carry out. First of all, you come to add part. Add part will, will pop up will come. You just click the point the area you want to the xy data from make sure you put more points around the more your points the more accurate the elevation is when it comes to interpolation okay i think this is the area i want to carry out uh, or i want to extract the data from All right, I think that's okay. You give it a name, so you can give it any name you want. But me, I want to use the study area as the name. That is Densu Delta. Okay, there you go. okay. We have it here, so let's uh, save it on our desktop. So. Uh, Oh, I have other missing here. Okay, so the format you can put it KMZ format, then you save it. We are done with the Google Earth Pro. You are not coming to use the, the global map mapper for extraction. Is the global map pro okay? First of all, it has open. You can add the data to file or open file data here. So click open file data. You navigate to the the, the folder you save the data. This is the folder, then you open it automatically it has opened we, we, we have the data here this is the area we want to extract the xyz from so what we'll do is that we come to a file then we connect the file to an online imagery there are actually two so me i want to use the nasa dm elevation uh, 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 format or the the, the image so I'll, I'll connect it to that 
so you see i've connected it image have provided excess area for the coordinates extraction but i want to stay focused to my state nucleus so what i'll do is that we come to create an area feature then okay we give it a name okay you give it a name after you create the area feature so this is the area then you give it a name a name i will put it uh, delta the type you put it survey section here yeah, you can put it uh then so delta kmz file that is the for the name of the file we uploaded here the, the kmz file we uploaded and okay now we don't want uh we want only this area we have created here but the excess area provided automatically we don't want it so we select the area we want so we come to this the nasa edm come to option we come to cropping the crop we want to crop to current selected polygons yeah then we apply you can see that the area we don't want has automatically removed from this uh let's say this area so what we'll do is that to extract the the xyz coordinates of this part we created we come to file come to export we come to uh, elevation uh, export elevation grid format and the format should be xyz grid and click ok ok all right which format do we want it we want uh, uh, this is comma delimited we have separate delim tab delimited semicolon delimited but we want it comma delimited so it will interpolate to fill the small gaps in the area yes we don't just want the part xyz but we want the area i created the the thing should uh, the results should interpolate and give us the entire xyz of the area with an interval so it should be interpolate to fill small gaps then okay so we give the name you want it to be so you can give it Densu, uh, we just say it's Densu. That's the name of the file we want. So we go back to the folder where we save the, the X Y Z. Here is it. We have the data here, the X Y Z data here. This one is in uh, lat long form. But you can actually do it in other data format. That is, let me come. We want it in UTM format. We come to configuration. Then you come to projection. Projection. Then you navigate to UTM. We have UTM coordinate system. We are in zone 30. The way I selected is zone 30. WGS 84. The parameters these are the parameters for WGS84. So if you select UTM, you, the same thing, you follow the previous method. Come to export elevation uh, grid format, then XYZ, then OK. The same thing, interpolate to fill small gaps in the data, and you click OK, save it. So this one, the other one was then so let me put this one delta delta one and i save it now delta one when you open delta one you see the coordinates are in a uh, utm format the easterns and the northerns coordinates and this are the elevation you can also open this in csv format you go to csv csv uh, Excel, Excel rather. So come to Excel. You open Excel, new Excel. You come to File, come to Open. 
you browse to where your data is the data is in here on us so you open pop up your card then click next it is not tapped you put it comma delimited so you select the comma and you save it then now we have our data in our uh, excel format so this one you can save it in uh, csv format for further uh, data analysis thank you for your time in this tutorial uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel like and add your thoughts under the comment section